Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths video on Key Stage 5, Interpreting Solutions to Equations Graphically. Now, there's only one principle we'll be exploring in this video and it's this. If you had some line, I don't know, y equals 2x plus 1, then you should understand the relationship between this equation and this line is that the line consists of all points which satisfy this particular equation. And then I might have another line, y equals half x plus 3, and that line also consists of points, all which satisfy this particular equation. So for example, if this x value was 2, then the y value in order to satisfy this equation would have to be half times 2 plus 3, which is obviously 4. And that means if you're on the point of intersection of these two lines, it must satisfy both of the equations. So the principle is just this, if we want to find values of x and y which satisfy both of these equations simultaneously, then we could draw the two lines and then find the point of intersection of the two lines. So let's use that principle for these questions here. How many solutions does the equation x times x plus 1 times x minus 1 equals 1 over x have? Now we could try to solve this algebraically and we could times both sides by x and that would give us a quartic which would be quite hard to solve or we could just sketch different graphs and reason about them. So what we could do is we could sketch y equals the left hand side. So let's first sketch y is equal to x times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now that's a cubic graph, it has roots of 0, minus 1, and 1, and we explored how to draw cubics in a separate video, and then it's a positive cubic because when we expand it out, we'll have a positive x cubed term, it'll be 1 x cubed. So there's a kind of uphill roller coaster shape like this. And then we could also sketch y is equal to the right hand side. So if I sketch y is equal to 1 over x, it's a reciprocal graph, and positive reciprocal graphs look like this. So you have a curve like this, and then a curve like this. So that is the y equals 1 over x graph. Now we don't actually need to work out the exact solutions to this equation, we just need to know how many solutions it has. And basically that's just how many points of intersection it has. So we can see there's one point of intersection there, and then there's one point of intersection here. So that means this equation must have two solutions because there's two points of intersection. So in general, if you've got f of x is equal to g of x, so you've got two different expressions involving x, then to solve this graphically, you can sketch y is equal to f of x and y is equal to g of x, and then just observe where they intersect. Then the second equation here, the line with equation y equals 2x plus 1 is tangent to the curve with equation kx squared plus 2y plus k minus 2 equals 0. Given k is a positive constant, find the value of k. So this is a quadratic curve here, so we know it's going to look something like this. And we know it's going to be a smiley face shape because it tells us k is a positive value, so this is a positive x squared term. And y equals 2x plus 1 is tangent to that, so it's going to touch it, that's what's meant by a tangent. And we can see there's one point of intersection where it touches, and then this one we are going to solve algebraically. By the way, you might be tempted to use differentiation for this, but the complicating factor is that we have a mixture of x and y in this expression here. So if we've got a point of intersection, we can solve these simultaneously. So we've got quadratic simultaneous equations here, and the way to solve that is to substitute the linear equation into the quadratic one. So if we do that, we've got k x squared plus 2y, where y is 2x plus 1, plus the k minus 2 equals 0. And let's just expand this. We've got kx squared plus 4x plus the 2, but minus that 2, which cancels, plus the k equals 0. And if we have one point of intersection, then this equation must have one solution. And we can use the discriminant to say when the quadratic has exactly one solution, or equal roots, as we say. So we use a, b, and c. So a is the number in front of the k squared. b is the number in front of the x. c is that constant term. And then we use the discriminant. The discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, which is 16 minus 4 times a, which is k, times the c, which is k also. And the discriminant is equal to 0 when we have equal roots. 
Then if we divide by four, we get four minus k squared equals zero. And we can see that k is equal to two or minus two, but we're told that k is a positive constant, so k can only be two.